Hello and welcome to another video. In today's video we talk about the Spurt Wi-Fi connector. You see that in the middle of the screen here. It's a uh, small little device that allows you to connect wirelessly to your Spirit fly wireless controller. To connect it, you have two wires on here. And the first one, if you look in the back, you have the power. That's the brown and the red that goes to the power bus. And then you have your communications wire, the orange and red, I guess. And they go and plug into your Spirit. Um, the, the orange and the red plugs into the sys port. As you can see, I don't have anything in there. And uh, you want to make sure that you face the orange wire to the top when you plug that in. So there you go. And then uh, you need to supply the power um, to the unit. And I'm just going to use the aux port since I don't have anything plugged in there at the moment. Uh, that's if I can ma manage it, because that is a standard servo connector. So you will have power on that. And there you go. So now I have my uh, Wi-Fi unit hooked up to unit. Make sure that you disconnect your uh, your motor so it doesn't spin up on you in the middle of the process here. Um, you don't want to go through settings and suddenly find yourself in some trouble. Just a little safety tip as always. All right, now we're going to go to the computer and hook up to the Wi-Fi controller. Now that we have connected the Wi-Fi unit the module to the Spirit Fly Wireless system, we are ready to do a number of things. The first thing we will do is go and fetch the latest firmware for the Wi-Fi unit because you will have an issue once you connect it to it. Um, as the, the Wi-Fi module is an ad hoc by default, you will not see the internet. Now you can fix that and I'll show you how to do that. But initially, um, you will need to well update the firmware first. So we will go to Spirit Systems. Systems. We'll go to Downloads. Go to the Wi-Fi link. And in my case, I'm using a Mac, so I will hit that and it'll download the firmware for me. Um, we will then access that downloaded version you have. If you are on a uh, Windows computer, you will have an EXE. In my case, I have a DMG. So it'll open that up. And being Mac, here's a few things you have to do. Uh, for protection, you have to hold down Control, Open, and it'll ask you to whoop, <laughs> say, hey, I'm not allowed to open that. Second time lucky, open. And now you'll see that it's asking me, hey, can I connect your Wi-Fi or oh, to the Wi-Fi module? Well, I haven't connected to it yet. And the way we do that and the way we fix it, of course, you now get to apply power to the unit. Since I had it connected to my helicopter, I am powering up my helicopter and wait for the little blue LED on the Wi-Fi module to start blinking. Once it blinks, I will go to my networks and I will find a Spirit Wi-Fi dash something in here. Yours might be different than that. Um, in my case, that is called. I have now connected to it. And as you can see, that is the default IP address for that unit. And I will then say, flash it. And there we go. Latest firmware is uploaded. We'll close that. Now that we have updated the firmware on Wi-Fi module, we are ready to connect to it. And uh, since we are still connected to it, the last time I checked, spread wi fi list, we can go to our browser, type in that 4.1 IP address, and voila, we are connected. It is easy as that. Now there's some other things you can do, but first off, of course, you want to see that you can actually change the settings on your helicopter. And since I'm still uh, helicopter on the fly wireless unit, you can see I connected to it. It's telling me I have a slightly older version on there. I don't think it's a big deal at this point in time. And you can go in and make changes. 
I will not make any changes or save anything at this point in time because that's not in the scope of this video. What I do want to show you is the ability to connect the unit to both your home network and to the helicopter at the same time so that you can have internet access on your computer while working with your helicopter. And to do that, we will first click on the Wi-Fi access point entry on the left there, and then I will tell it to switch to APN client mode. You will notice that mode change is up there. And then next, I will click on Wi-Fi client tab. Okay, I can now select the strongest signal. Uh, that's not the strongest. Since I have uh, a mesh network, I have multiple entries to choose from and multiple places to connect to. So I'll choose that one. We'll put in our password. and wait for it to connect. All right. So now that it's done the switch, you'll notice that it says right there, you need to switch to your home network now. Since the unit is now in AP mode or not in client mode and no longer in AP mode, you want to be connected to your home network. And you probably want to copy this to start with. So we will copy that IP address. Oops. I will now switch to my home network. There you go. And now we will type in or paste in URL. And you'll see that is now the new one. And this means that I am now connected to the internet. So I can switch and I show you I'm hooked to my home network. And I can go to Google for instance. And there we go. And now you can do the same thing. You go go to spirit settings, make your changes, blah, blah, blah. And you're good to go. And uh, that's all there is to it. It could be very confusing if you don't do all the steps, but uh, those are one, two, three, connected to the unit, updated the firmware. And uh, now we can make our changes on our flywireless unit. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, and I'll talk at you later.